Hi, yet another random mystery dumpster teardown, because people seem to like these. My last dumpster uh, mystery teardown got like 45,000 views. That's like half my, almost half my subscribers. Absolutely crazy. Anyway, I've had this one uh, around. I found it in the dumpster. It was kind of unusual, so I picked it up. And look at this. It's got like a thermal printer thing, and it's got a tilt screen. It's all a glorious um, <laughs> sort of metallic red uh, colored plastic and it's got what looks like a PC in here. So you might think that this is some, oh, it's just some point of sale uh, terminal, some POS system, but no. Have a look down here. It's a, it's a skin analysis, CB something, skin analysis machine and skin uh, running um, skin software. So this is obviously some like, uh, uh, it's not really medical, it's more uh, beautician thing I think in terms of like analyzing your skin or something like that or though it could be like a like a, a skin cancer thing check thing maybe or something like that although every time I go in for like a skin cancer check which we do every year here in Australia because you know our UV's high here and we've got a lot of sun and uh yeah it's, it's so anyway yeah they just uh check me over with a Maggie lamp and uh you know she'll be right uh, yeah but this is apparently some skin analysis machine running some custom software. So it's really interesting uh, how you can actually get custom bits of kit like this uh, tailored to a specific industry. And look, it even has the protective film still on it. So I'm gonna take that off, uh, <laughs> ripper. So it's obviously got, you know, some sort of uh, PC inside this thing. You know, you got the ethernets, the USBs. It's already got a USB key in it, uh, cbshotline.com. Uh, CN, so it's a Chinese thing. You can see all the Chinese writing in there. It looks like, is that a PS2 port? Um, it looks like, though, 12 volts here. I'm not sure if that's like, I assume that is like 12 volt power to this thing. It runs off a 12 volt plug pack, I'm assuming. So I might, these are different sizes, though. These are two different size pins inside there. So that's interesting. Um, I might see if I can feed 12 volts up its clacker and uh, try it out. Little micro SD card over there. Anyway, um, and a custom printer interface, but it's obviously some sort of customized skin uh, check machine, something like that. So it's just interesting to see this. I mean, inside it's probably just going to be some like little customized PC or something that, uh, you know, interestingly runs from 12 volts. So I won't tear down the monitor or the printer or anything like that. I, you know, eh. Aha, uh -huh. for those playing along at home, let's have a look here. The whole set of system and model. It's the CBS 2000 hardware of the tester. <laughs> Love it. High magnification up to 200 times. See the micro world with the polarization, crystal clear images, two megapixel. Uh, it's the Dino light. Is that the, I guess that's the uh, like uh, camera that comes with it or whatever. Um, anyway, it's a PC 156 dimension and M1.3 to two gig. It's a Celeron jobby. So yeah, really old, <laughs> ancient stuff. Okay, I've got 12 volts fed into one of those inputs, <laughs> the one that fitted the jack, I don't know what the other one is, uh, 0.122 amps, that's actually uh, pretty high for like doing nothing. Anyway, there is a power button on this thing, so, and the monitor doesn't seem to have separate power. No, no, nothing, nothing doing there at all, I see no change in current, it's a mechanical switch on the printer, but that's it. Okay, the other jack here is uh, you know, 12 milliamps. Um, that's more like your traditional standby. So let's, let's hit that. Hold it down, maybe. No, I'm seeing no change in current. Nothing. Ah, uh, zippity doo -dah. I couldn't be bothered going to the effort to find another plug to jam wire them all in parallel or whatever. Meh. Let's just crack it open. All right, I've just randomly taken off all the screws on the bottom, hoping, oh, no, missed one, oh, hoping that that'll, that, that's a different type, that, that's a flathead to all the others, the others weren't flatheads, um, oh, uh, sorry, um, countersunk, <laughs> flathead, countersunk, there's another one, missed it, that's probably holding the PC in, I'd say, but, is there one under the foot, damn, if you can just see that, there's a little countersunk screw under there, what a mongrel, Right, there's a couple of little mongrels under there. So 
So it could be under the other ones as well, but this should at least allow me to get this thing out. There we go. All right, it's gonna come out nicely. We're in like Flynn, there you go. It's an open frame jobby. That's interesting. It's not something that you'd uh, readily expect. I expected like a, you know, like a little small form factor. Um, you know, one of those small form factor cases. This looks almost like custom sort of designed case. If anyone's seen anything like that before, please let us know. But yeah, that's uh, that's fascinating. Anyway, it's all nicely, uh, nicely cable tied and heat shrunk and everything else. There's not much else up in the case. Nothing doing up there, really. Um, it's just, oh, there's a switch on the, oh. Oh, is that the power switch? That could be the... I think I, I, think I found the power switch. <laughs> Dumbass Dave. The, the, the other one was just for the monitor. Oh, yeah, there you go. You probably can't hear it, but there's fan. I just started it up. Yeah, two amps at 12 volts on one of the inputs there by pressing that, that button on the top. I, it's, it's the same color, right? Yeah, it's a tiny little button hidden there. So I think maybe one of the inputs is for the monitor, perhaps? Nope, I can see cursor on the screen. So let's power this up. Wow, there it is. <laughs> it's not going to be, uh, oh yes, yes, it's touchy-feely. It's touchy-feely, none of that mouse rubbish. There you go, for a uh, network create new life, something or other. Anyway, yeah, it looks like they tossed it out fully working. You know, the company either shut down or upgraded their model or whatever. This is like, it's pretty old. Um, you know, seller on really uh, dates this thing. Although a lot of uh, embedded uh, industrial uh, PCs and stuff like that run really old hardware. Like I can remember back, we were still running uh, Windows 3.11, like well into, oh geez, when did I leave uh, Surcell? That was into 2000, uh, 2009 or something, 2007 or something like that, was still running, and they would have been running it after that, Windows 3.11, an old, like, rack mount embedded uh, PC hardware. I can't remember what the processors were. They weren't even Celerons. They were still, like, 486s or uh, something like that, and still, you know, running fine. If it ain't broken, uh, don't touch it, because we would have had to upgrade all the, you know, practically, I think, even rewrite a lot of the Visual Basic software that I wrote uh, for the stuff, and uh, LabVIEW CVI, which is uh, uh, National Instruments version of uh, C, basically. They call it Lab, uh, lab Windows CVI, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, we would have had to, like, upgrade all that software and things like that, and it was like, no, it, it just worked. So if the machines broke down, we, like, bought old hardware. To, although a lot of the industrial PC companies will still sell your PC 104 boards. I've done a video on that, uh, things like that. So, yeah, there you go. Don't know what Dino Capture is, but skin analysis system. Can we double click on that? And, oh, maybe I don't have the stick in it. Yeah, this is probably a uh, dongly thing. So, like hardware dongle. Aha, we're in. There we go. Magic's development beauty equipment. System applicable modules, it's got all licenses and whatnot. And uh, yeah, she looks like she's got perfect skin. Windows is finally uh, installing new. Do you re want to restart? No, it's obviously automatically detected it. And that uh, resolution notice is really annoying. Skin analysis system, what do we do? We just wait longer or do we double click? What do we do? Now, what's happening is it's possibly, my guess would be, is that it's locked up uh, because oh, we don't have the external camera. Uh, you know, the official camera attachment. You can't just plug in any USB camera, I don't think. Anyway, I'm not going to muck around with it. It's, yeah. So if you know exactly what it does, please leave it in the comments down below if I can find any info. But uh, my guess would be that it's, uh, you know, it's, it's just basically a digital uh, camera system that maybe has some visual um, intelligence to, you know, identify spots and maybe changes in spots and things like that. I don't know. Maybe you can store, like, patient records from last time and then uh, call it up when the patient comes back for their yearly check or whatever, and they can, you know, record various um, skin uh, conditions and freckles and things like that because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very freckled. Um, I was ridiculously freckled when I was a kid, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like quite freckled. You should see my back. It's just like, you know, covered in freckles and stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, that may, must make it hell for my uh, local skin cancer dude. Anyway, so I'm not going to muck around with that anymore. Let's just go back to the PC, shall we? 
And there's our single bore computer. It's quite neat. And uh, it's a mo momentous thin hard drive. Check it out, the Seagate Momentous. Hands up if you had a momentous and thin edition. None of that, uh, you know, full height rubbish. Although full height when I'm referring to that, it's not like full height drive. That was like, you know, like five and a quarter, like double five and a quarter inch full height back in the day when I was a boy. Anyway, um, yeah, obviously our uh, our CPU is, is going to be under there. There's our uh, chipset and uh, yeah, it's just got the heat pipe going out there and it's, you know, kind of laptopy. Um, but yeah, that's a bore. You know, when you salvage something like this, yeah, the machine itself is absolutely useless. But you might uh, you might salvage this. I don't know. You might need some of the caps or the inductors or some of the SMD voltage regulators or something like that. There's the backup battery. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's like um, Celeron. You know, it's one of those mobile Celeron things. Um, Celeron M or whatever it is. There's our SIM slot, and it looks like it had another uh, another card here. So I don't know what uh, expansion option that was, but. There you go, um, that's all she wrote. Nothing too exciting. Who wants me to see the processor under there? A Sepa fan for all you fan aficionados. So, oh, there we go, it's Gonski. All right, let's lift this off and, ta-da, oh, there we go. There's our thermal pad. And I get up close with the macro. And because this is a second channel video, I'm not gonna bother to look that up and there's our processor over there. Can we get... Got to get the light at the right angle. Can't see it on my camcorder screen. But I often can't see a lot of stuff on my camcorder screen. So that before, until I got that under the Mantis. There's some writing up there, but it doesn't really tell you... Doesn't really tell you what's what, I don't think, unless you decode it. But anyway, there you go. That's just a mystery uh, teardown from the dumpster. And uh, a big, give me a big thumbs up if you want to uh, see this as almost, you know, a regular, regular, as regular as people throw stuff out. People say, oh, more dumpster diving videos. Well, you know, it, it's not like I, I actually request things to be thrown in the dumpster. I'm at the mercy of, you know, A, what people throw out, B, how often they throw it, and C, how many times that I manage to uh, check uh, the dumpster, it's not uh, It's not every day, um, and before they might throw it down, or maybe occasionally other people uh, pilfer stuff and things like that. But I do most of the uh, free service of uh, removing the stuff that's not supposed to be in the dumpster room, by the way. A lot of people ask this, no, you're not supposed, it's against the strata rules of this building to throw out stuff like this. You're not supposed to. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing them a service. Anyway, if you like the video, please give it a big a thumbs up. Catch you next time.